listen, I'm going to be here the next couple of months. Chop it up. Press down like that. I haven't got a clue what I'm supposed to be doing. We need to get our stuff on. That is what I'm talking about. Twist like that, give it a ruddy good spanking. Perfect. Just having a moment. Right, this chocolate tart is a real cracker. Uh, I've got a sweet pastry tart shell in the freezer, completely frozen. Just going to whack it in the oven for about 10 minutes so it's slightly golden. I'll get on with the filling. So I need some butter, unsalted butter. I need 140 grams. Normally about three quarters of a pack. And I'll just weigh it to check. Ooh, bad guess. I'm losing it. And then I've got this chocolate here, yeah? It's dark chocolate, it's 70% cocoa solid. So that's 150 grams of chocolate in there. And I need a pinch of salt in there. When I worked in France, I worked with this really good French patissier, and he always used to say to me, uh, when you cook with chocolate, you must always put uh, a little pinch of salt in there, and it brings out the flavor in the chocolate. And I was kind of a little bit kind of, oh yeah, mate, yeah, I believe you. But um, what he did was we made a bo two batches of ganache up, which is like a chocolate base, and, um, one with salt, one without, and it made all the difference. It really made it lovely, jubbly, and yummy. Eight levelish tablespoons of cocoa powder. So, do you think chocolate tart is something you'd always make if you wanted to impress a girlfriend? Yeah, definitely. I think it's quite a romantic thing, you know, chocolate. <laughs> I'm just going to put a little bit of water in a pot, put it on a little heat, let it melt slowly, give it a stir every couple of minutes. Butter, the chocolate, the cocoa, the salt, all mix up. Be nice and shiny and lovely. That's basically the base of the cake. Yeah, that's where all the flavours are, that's where it's all happening. What we need to do now is get the other side of the cake, which is kind of the lift and the texture. Um, and for that, I've got four eggs, large, free range, nice yellowy yolks, you know. Now I need to put 200 grams of sugar in that. Caster sugar, just whisk it up. So you're planning quite a romantic day today for Juliet? Yeah, well. Kind of, it's a bit of a miserable day, so I'm a bit annoyed with that. But um, yeah, I'm going to make a nice lunch, go out for a nice walk, chill out. Might do something nice in the evening. Just spend a bit of time together, really. Try and get in the old good books again, mate. Get out of the doghouse. Right, so that's nice and smooth, yeah. And then we've got two little secret ingredients, which are a bit different to the norm. Some sour cream and some golden syrup. Sour cream gives a lovely kind of acidity, a little bit of a sourness, which is beautiful, makes all the difference, lightens it up a little bit. And I want three tablespoons of that. And you could use creme fraiche if you wanted. And then we've got this golden syrup. Quite old fashioned, really. Quite old fashioned, yeah. But I'll tell you what, this, it gives this tart, yeah? It gives it a nice kind of toffiness, which is good for flavour, but also, you know, it gives it that little bit of a chew. And I like all that. Three tablespoons-ish of that. Must be fantastic having a boyfriend who can cook. You reckon? Tell that to my girlfriend. She just thinks I'm a bit strange. <laughs> the other day she came and walked in and found me uh, watching... Uh, and she, the telly was on and she found me watching the rotisserie and the roast chicken just going around. <laughs> she thought I was really weird and very sad. Mix this up together. Ooh, get in there. Just until it's smooth, basically. Right, so that's all done. Let's just check on the old chock. Nearly there. Mega flavours. That's just lovely and shiny. So now I will get my spatula, and why it's important to get everything out of the bowl. Desserts and baking and stuff is a bit more like chemistry. It's quite important to weigh everything, do you know what I mean? Otherwise, you find that it either doesn't taste as nice or it hasn't risen or something like that, which is always a bit of a downer. Ever had any terrible disasters? Oh, mate, I've had so many disasters you wouldn't believe. I've lost count. I've had so many bad ones. Right, that's looking good. Tart shell. But we're going to plonk this straight in there now. And it's going to... Go mad, absolutely mad. The chocolate's gonna go <coughs> puff up, look absolutely pucker. Just carefully put it in the old oven. I normally spill it at this stage. And I cook it for about 40 minutes, about 150. Be spot on, 